In this lecture, we will define cytology or cell biology and we'll discuss about cell theory and types of cells. And also we will discuss some differences among plant and animal cells. So first, we will discuss about cell biology or cytology. So cell biology or cytology is the branch of science which deals with the study of structure, function, molecular organization, growth, reproduction, and genetics of cells. So in cell biology or cytology, we will dis we discuss about the structure of cells, the function of cell, the molecular organization of cell that from which material cells are made, the growth uh, pattern of cells, the reproduction, the type of reproduction in cells, and also the genetics of cells. So we all, these uh, studies are done in the uh, branch of science, which is known as cytology. Cytology comes from the Greek word kytos, which means hollow vessels or cell, and logos means to discourse or study. So in this uh, cytology, we study about the cell. Next, we will discuss about some basic information about cells, that cell is the basic structural, functional, and biological unit of unknown living organism, that the living organism are made from cells, and it functions inside the cells, and it is made from the cell, so it is the biological unit of all living organism. Next is cell is the smallest unit of life that can replicate independently or upon call the building blocks of life. So the smallest unit of life is known as cell that can replicate independently. So these are a bit of information about cells. Next cell was discovered in 1665 by Robert Hooke who examined a thin slice which was cut from a piece of dried cork under, and he studied it under the compound microscopes. So he, the, the things which Robert Hooke studies under the my compound microscope, he described it as a honeycomb of chambers because the cork under the microscope looked like a honeycomb which were made of many chambers or small cells. And he coins the term cells, which comes from Latin word cella, which means small rooms or small chambers. And he mentioned this study in his books known as Micrographia. Next, we will discuss about cell theory. Cell theory was forwarded by T. Schwann, M. Schleiden, and R. Virtue. The cell theory consists of three parts and it includes that all known living things are made from one or more cells. So the living things we know that are either made of one cell, which is unicellular, or more than one cell, which is multicellular. Next cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function in all living organisms. So all living organisms are made from cells and it do all its function inside a cell. The third one is all living cells arise from pre-existing cells by division. So the new cells arise inside an organisms from the pre-existing cell. The pre-existing cell divides by cell division and give rise to new cells. In 1838, German botanist M. Sleden discovered that all plant cells were made of, uh, uh, all plants are made of cells. So uh, Sleden in 1838 study about plants and he concluded that all plants are composed of cells. A year later, a German zoologist, Theodor Schwann, discovered that all animals were composed of cells. In 1839, he studied that all animals were composed of cells. So from this study, they concluded that all organisms are made of cells. In 1855, Rudolf Virtue said that all cells comes 
from the pre-existing cells. So new cells arise from the pre-existing cells. When they divide, it give rise to new cells. Now, types of cells. Generally, there are two types of cell. One is prokaryotes and another is eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are small cells surrounded by a plasma membrane where the characteristic cell walls differ in composition depending on the particular organism. So it is, it is smaller cells surrounded by plasma membrane and it have characteristic cell walls which the composition of cell wall changes and it depends on a particular organism. The prokaryotes lacks a true nucleus and the circular DNA which is present in prokaryote, it is present in a region known as nucleoid and other membrane bound organelles are also absent in prokaryotes. They do contain ribosomes, but other membrane bound uh, organelles such as mitochondria in the plasma reticulum plus the um, Golgi complex, they lack these organe organelles. The prokaryotes are exemplified by bacteria and archaea. These are the two domains of prokaryotes. These are uh, uh, different from each other. Next one is eukaryotes. Eukaryotic cells are also surrounded by plasma membrane. They have distinct nuclei or a true nucleus bounded by nuclear membrane are enveloped with organized chromosomes storing genetic material. So the basic difference between prokaryote and eukaryotes is that prokaryote lack a true nucleus, which, is, um, which means that nuclear membrane is absent and eukaryotes contain a true nucleus which have nuclear membrane and inside the nuclear membrane chromosome is present which store the genetic material. Also eukaryotes contains membrane bound organelles such as mitochondria, chloroplast, lysosome, smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, Golgi complex, etc. Now we will compare, uh, do some comparison about prokaryote and eukaryotic cell. First one is the size. Prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic cells. So it's uh, generally from 0.5 to 3 micrometer. And the eukaryote is uh, from 2 to 100 micrometer. So this is a big difference in size. Prokaryotic cell are, um, smaller than eukaryotic cell. Next one is the cell nature. Prokaryotic cells are single cells and eukaryotic cells are multicellular, which is made of more than one cells. Next one is the cell wall. The cell wall present in prokaryotes are made of peptidoglycan or mucopeptides. This is polysaccharides. So this is the nature of cell wall. The eukaryotic cell wall is present in plant cell and fungus com consists of cellulose, which is a polysaccharide, and in, uh, in fungi it is made of chitin. So this, the, uh, the chemical composition is also different in prokaryote and eukaryotes. Next is the presence of nucleus. In prokaryote, well-defined nucleus or true nucleus is absent and nucleoid is present, which is an open region containing DNA. So the DNA, the circular DNA, which is present in prokaryote is present in the region known as nucleoid. And eukaryote, a well-defined or true nucleus is present, which is enclosed by a nuclear membrane. The shape of DNA, it is circular, double-stranded, and in eukaryote, it is linear and also double-stranded. Mitochondria, it is absent in prokaryote and it is present in eukaryote. Ribosome, it is smaller in prokaryote, which is 70s, and in eukaryote, it is larger and at 80s. This means Swedberg units, and it is a sedimentation units of ribosome. Golgi apparatus it is absent in prokaryote and present in eukaryote. Endoplasmic reticulum is absent and present in eukaryote. 
reproduction is asexual and prokaryote and mostly commonly sexual and prokaryotes. Cell division occur in prokaryotes by binary fission, which is a simple type of division in which the cells simply divide into two. And in eukaryotes, it occurs by the process of mitosis. Lysosome is absent and uh, present in eukaryotes. Chloroplast is absent and the chlorophyll sometimes present is scattered in the cytoplasm. It is present in plants and algae. The chloroplast is present in plant and algae in eukaryotes. Cytoskeleton, which is the internal skeletal system of the cell, is absent in prokaryotes and it is present and well developed in eukaryotes. Transcription and translation. Transcription is the formation of messenger RNA from DNA and translation is the formation of proteins from messenger RNA. So it generally occurs in cytoplasm because there is no true nucleus in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes transcription occurs in nucleus and translation occurs in the cytoplasm. The replication, in replication, a single origin of replication is present. Origin of replication is a point from which the replicate, the process of replication starts. In eukaryotes, multiple origin of replications are present. Number of chromosomes, mostly one, and in eukaryotes, mostly more than one chromosomes are present. Examples are archaea and bacteria and the examples of eukaryotes are plants and animals. So these are some comparative analysis of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So you can see here, this is the structure of eukaryotic cells. So this is a definite nucleus. You can see here the membrane is around the nuclear materials. This is endoplasmic reticulum. This is cell membrane. This is DNA inside the nucleus. This is lysosome. This is ribosome, mitochondria, galgioprates, and this is the cytoplasm. So you can see here, this is the eukaryotic cell which contain a membrane bound nucleus and all the organelles present. This is the example of prokaryotic cells, a bacteria. So you can see here, this is a simple cells. This is the plagella, which is used for the moment. This is the cell wall, plasma membrane. Inside, this is the nucleoid where the DNA is present. This is the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are also present. These are phylus. This is used for attachment. And also these bacteria have capsules. So this is the simple structure of prokaryotic cell which do not have membrane bound nucleus and cell organelles. Next, we will discuss about some differences between plant and animal cells, both are eukaryotic cells. So first one is animal cells are generally smaller than plant cells with size and shapes vary greatly. So animal cells are smaller than plants. Plant cells have similar shapes with most being rectangular or cube shape. So in animal cells, the animal cells are smaller and with the size and shapes greatly vary in animals, so it is not a specific size, but in plant, the shapes and sizes are similar, which are either rectangular or cube, cubical in shape. Also, animal cells lack cell walls and only contain cell membranes, where plant cell contains both a rigid cell wall and a delicate cell membrane. So this is the major difference. Animal cell lack cell wall while plant cell have cell wall. Next one is animal cells have lysosomes which is absent in plant cell and the function, the enzymatic function of lysosome in plants are performed by vacuoles and Golgi bodies. So the enzymatic, hydrolytic enzyme, which is present in lysosome. The function of these enzymes are performed by vacuoles and Golgi bodies in plant cells. Next is animal cells have many small vacuoles, whereas in plant cell, a large central vacuole is present that can occupy up to 90% 90 of the cell volume. 
So animal cells have many small vacuoles as plant cell occupy one larger uh, vacuoles which occupy the 90% volume of the cell. So the plant cells, you, when you look up to the plant cell, it is mainly occupied by the vacuoles. Nucleus is present at the center in the animal cell and occupies the side region in plant cell because the large size of vacuum. Next is centriole is present in animal cells which helps the formation of microtubule in cell division and so centrioles aids in cell division and centriole is absent in plant cells. So the microtubules are present in plant cell, but they are on a nut formed by the centrioles because centrioles are absent in plant cell. Next is plastid is absent in animal cells and it is present in plant cell and it give pigmentation colors to plants and help in the photosynthesis process. So plastid is very prominent in plants, so you can see different pigments which give different colors. And also these pigments helps in the process of photosynthesis by absorbing certain wavelength of lights. Next is plasmodesmata, which is the, which is the pores present in, in the cell wall. So as we know, cell wall is absent in animals, so plasmodesmata is absent in animal and is present in plant cell. And the function of Plasmodesmata is con communication between cells and also transport of material across two cells. So these are some differences between plant and animal cells. You can see this is the plant cell and this, this big uh, organelle is vacuoles. So this is nucleus. It have nucleolus. The red color is nucleolus. This is a membrane and around the nucleus is smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum. This is cell wall. This is plasma membrane. This is cytoplasm. These are the black color. This is ribosome. This is chloroplast. This is amyloplast, which forms starch and stores starch inside the plant cells. This is mitochondria, this is Golgi bodies. So this is the typical plant cells. You can see here the animal cells, this is ribosomes, Golgi bodies, plasma membranes, cytoplasm, mitochondria, lysosome, centrosomes. This is nucleus, these are rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is centriole and small vacuoles. These are small vacuoles. So these are the typical plant and animal cells and we discuss some differences between plant and animal cell. So these are this is all about today lecture. Thank you for watching.